Good evening, everyone. It has arrived. March Madness, the Michigan Tech men's basketball team got a taste of the magic already with a comeback victory against Northwood on Wednesday night. So Saturday, the Huskies were looking to run all over Finlay and hope that the Oilers spill in Houghton. Huskies jumped out to an early lead in the first half, and it's going to be the guy, Austin Armga. Yes, he's going to go with a crossover move to the baseline in the layup. 7-2 Tech after four and a half minutes. But Tech president Glenn Mraz and his wife had reason to be concerned because Finlay went on a 22-7 run. Aaron Robinson to Jake Hagan for two. Oilers led 24-14 and had a 31-19 advantage at the half. With three and a half minutes to go, though, in regulation, Greg Kaley would then drain a three pair of three-pointers to put Finlay up 8-47-38. to But Tech's Ben Stelter counters with two triples. This one good for a four-point play. And Tech trailed by one, 47-46, with 2.45 to go. Stelter led Tech with 20 points. The Huskies finally grabbed the lead, 50-49 to on this Alley Hater layup. Nice kiss off the glass. He had 17 points on the contest. But Finlay struck again from long range. So on Samsel, he's going to hit a triple right here at the top of the key. And he gave the Oilers a two-point cushion with 40 seconds left. Then another two, 10 seconds left. Ben Stelter is called for an offensive foul on the charge on the baseline. Brad Peel sacrificed his body for the cause. Tech had one last chance down three. But Ali Hayter's desperation is shot here up the court. Bounces off the rim. Finlay advances to the conference final with a 54-51 victory. If there's such thing as losing a game, we lost in the first half. We just we weren't we weren't ourselves. We didn't execute offense very well. Our, our vision was terrible on defense, and we we got killed on the boards. And those don't make for a good first half. We're hoping that this isn't our last game. That we did enough previous to this to still get us in. But yeah, just hoping we don't have to go out like this. Tech was the third seed in the Great Lakes region. The top eight seeds in each region will play in the NCAA Division II tournament. Those seeds will be announced tomorrow at 10.30 on Sunday night. The Tech's record is 20-8. and eight. The second game had the Lakers against the Lakers. Lake Superior State against Grand Valley State. First half action for Grand Valley in white. It'd be Ryan Marley. He buries a triple from way downtown. Ryan's uncle is former NBA standout Dan Marley of the Phoenix Suns, so you see why he's hitting it from that long range, 11-9 Grand Valley. Lake State, though, picked up the pace later in the first half. Khalid Wells to Derek Kenny. Kenny had 12 points for the Lakes. Next for the Sault Ste. Marie team, Cameron Metz to Tony Harris for three of his own. And Grand Valley coach Rick Wesley must have not had enough cheese on his sandwich from the hospitality room because he was whining a lot about the calls. I believe this was over a substitution problem that resulted in a technical foul on the bench. But in the end, Lake Superior State came back in the second half and won 70 to 64. To the scoreboard, the women, Michigan Tech women, did lose to Ashland number one. Sam Hoyt and Emma Veach had 17 and 16, but Gleak Player of the Year, Carrie Doherty, 33 points, 16 rebounds in the loss. And now let's go to some Michigan Tech Senior Day highlights. As Colorado College, they were looking to get the sweep, but it would be the Tigers getting out in front with a nice goal here, taking a 3 to nothing lead at the end of the first period. But Tech rolls back. Milos Gordich, nice backhand here for the goal. And even uh, Blake Gettle would make it 4-3. to three. But that would be the score as the Tigers split the series in this one with a 4-3 to three victory. Now to the Wildcats, where they were looking to earn a victory against the Wolverines in Ann Arbor tonight in the CCHA playoffs, but came up empty. Northern fell down 2-0 early, but Darren Norick was able to score at the end of the first period to make it 2-1. to The Wolverines, Andrew Korp had two huge goals in the second and third period, one on the power play and one on a penalty shot to propel Michigan to a 6-2 win. NMU finished the season with a 15-19-4 record as they now have a long trip back to Marquette. Another game was Bowling Green and Lake Superior State. Bowling Green beat the Lakes Lakers 6-3 and they will force a Game 3 tomorrow Tomorrow night at 7.05. Division three high school hockey final. Sault Ste. Marie and Cranbrook. Left. Kingswood first period. Cranes get off to a good start. Austin Alger controls the puck. Shot. Gets around two Blue Devils and his wrister hits top shelf. One to nothing. They take a lead nine minutes in. To the second period. Sue down two. But they heat up as Alex Tenike takes a shot. And Chase Gamlin deflects it in the net for the goal. Blue Devils down just one. 
Now, Alex Alger, Alger was then the difference maker for this Cranes team. He gets the puck ahead, puts it past the goalie, and ends up in the net as well. He scored two goals, Cranes up 3-1. to one. The Sioux did score again. Watch this great passing. Blake Mostaw to Chase Gamlin again for the goal, but it wasn't enough as the Cranes are your state champions for 2013. Last thing, Midget's B Hockey Tournament in Marquette. Battle of the foods between Marquette Main Street Pizza and Sheboygan KFC. Second period, puck behind the net. Colin Duquette tries to get a check. He misses, then makes a few moves in front of the net. Nice wrister there. One to nothing in the second period. Then a minute later, it'd be Marquette adding some toppings to the lead. I think this one is pepperoni. Mitchell Berry skates past the defenders, puts it past the pad of the goal. The goalie, excuse me, two to nothing Marquette. They led three to nothing after two. Berry finished with two goals. And in the third, the pizza was cooking at full force. Take a look at this long pass. It go all the way to Blake with uh, Brett Place, he puts it in behind the net. They won six to nothing as they go on to play in tomorrow's round. And that's gonna be all your sports. Remember to go to our website at Upper Michigan Source for all the information.